So let me catch you up to what I've been doing so far. I've already started the work here. The uh, master cylinder is still attached to the firewall. Two bolts, one on this side, one on the opposite side over here. There are three uh, brake lines running to the brake lines attached to this triple block right here. Uh, this brake line is for the passenger side front line. This brake line right here is for the, pass, uh, the front driver's side. And this brake line right here goes to the rear of the vehicle and attaches to this front port on this triple block right here. This hole right here is where the brake light switch goes. Uh, and these lines right here, uh, as you can see, um, will attach to the brake light switch. I've already disconnected them. Go ahead and remove these bolts. As you can tell, I've already loosened them up. Here we have the single bowl master cylinder. So here in front of me are the parts that we'll need to go ahead and convert the 63 Falcon from a, a single bowl master cylinder to a double bowl master cylinder. So you, uh, again, you have this here. You're gonna need to remove a couple things from it. You'll need to remove the brake light switch right here. Uh, this is the brake tee fitting. You won't need to reuse this one for what we're doing here. So you can just, just put that aside. This is the actual uh, plunger that goes inside the master cylinder here. You want to keep that one. You're going to you keep this one because the one that comes with the replacement master cylinder is longer. As you can see here, uh, it's about a half inch longer. If you use this one by accident, you're going to have the brake lights or the brakes constantly on. So, so this is the new uh, double bowl master cylinder. Uh, I got this one from Advance or AutoZone. This is from a 67 non-power brake, non-disc brake uh, Mustang. The important thing to note about this is that the two ports here are different sizes. So you're going to need two reducers. The original size on the, on the old master cylinder is 3 16 standard flare for the brake line tubing. Uh, these are not. These are much larger. So you're going to have to reduce these. Uh, they are different sizes. Again, this one does not fit in here, as you can see. I'm going to go like that one, and that one will go here. Here are the part numbers. I bought these from Napa. So here's the part number here if you want to go ahead and uh, get this. Here is the additional one uh, for the uh, uh, back side of the, of the master cylinder, uh, 0503. Now, you also need some additional parts as well, too. So you're going to need a short length of brake line that will lead from these reducer fittings uh, into the T's that will break off uh, the brake lines to the front of the car, left and right. And for the rear of the car as well too, you're going to need to include that brake switch here. So on unlike later Must uh, Falcons and later Mustangs, the brake light switch is on the front of the actual master cylinder. Later cars had it on the brake pedal, so you need you need to incorporate, or I'm going to incorporate this, the brake light switch, and keep it on the front of, on the, the master cylinder like it was originally. So what you need to do here is you'll need two additional T fittings. This T fitting here, I picked this one up from uh, Advance. There is the part number right there. I'm sorry, there, there's the part number right there. Uh, zero four three six Delta seven eight five four three six Delta. You're going to use that for um, the front brake lines here. So you'll have this uh, short six or eight inch long, eight inch long uh, piece of uh, nickel copper brake line. Uh, again, both ends are three sixteenths standard flare, and uh, you'll attach one end end to the uh, reducer thread onto onto the master cylinder. The other side will go into this here and then it will go like this and then these two will front break off to the front left and right sides of the brakes. The other piece you'll need here is for uh, the rear brake line and again if you remember you have to incorporate the brake light switch here so it's going to thread in like this. Your brake line will come into off the, the uh, front port of the master cylinder, it'll go in like that. 
and then the opposite, this will go out to the rear brake line. And lastly, here is the part number uh, for the brake T fitting with the uh, uh, line for the brake light switch. Again, I got this one from Napa, the last of 0303. Again, this is just 3 16 3 inch brake line fitting and has a 1 8 inch pipe thread on the top. That's what makes this, that's what makes this one different, just like this. Lastly, here's the part number for the uh, six inch or eight inch lengths of the brake line extension, CN probably for copper nickel, uh, 308, and I bought both of these from Advance. So just to give you a little visual reference of what we're gonna end up doing here, here's a little uh, drawing I made, help me, remi help me remember stuff, uh, how it's gonna go together. So again, here's the firewall of the car. Here is the master cylinder here. Here are the two ports that come out. So the uh, cylinder closest to the firewall is for the front brake, and the cylinder closer to the radiator is for uh, the rear brake line. Here is the port that comes off here, the reducer. Here is this, that, uh, uh, actually it's an eight inch long uh, extension. Here is what you put a loop in it. Here's the uh, fitting with the three, three sixteenths inch um, connections to it, one for the inlet portion of the brake line, and it breaks out left and right to the to the front brakes. For the front, uh, for the rear brake line, here is the larger tube. Uh, so here we'll put a bend in that as well too. Here is the um, distribution block here with the two three sixteenths in inlet and outlet lines, and the one eighth inch a pipe threaded portion for the brake light switch. So it comes in here, here's a brake light switch. This, this will connect to uh, the power lead or the two uh, electrical leads and then it goes out to the rear brake line. So my next step is to bench bleed the master cylinder. So I have it in the vise, fill about halfway with a DOT3 brake fluid and let's see if we can get some air bubbles out. I think we're done. So I've got the master cylinder in place. I'm gonna go ahead and start this first bolt. Starting the block. There's the other bolt. Okay, so I know this is difficult to see, uh, but I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and remove the first plastic plug here. Uh, there, this master cylinder is already attached to the firewall. I've got the, I've got the front uh, left and right brake lines already uh, attached to the distribution block. Okay, I've already loosened it now. Put that over there. Pull this out. I've got towels down here because I know this is going to drip and I don't want to get paint. I don't want to get brake fluid on the paint. Okay, I've got that nice tight. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the plug in here because it's going to take me a while, I think, to, to bend this. Um, brake line into position. Of course that doesn't fit in there. I need to go get 3 16 inch plugs. The 3 16 inch plug, put these in here and that should stop it from leaking. Works fine and I'll stop it from leaking. I'm going to go ahead and install the reducer for the front brake cylinder. Brake. This one is the 9 16 fitting.
this is the basic shape it's going to be. I'll need to go ahead and uh, manually bend it in place the last uh, few millimeters. Uh, what I have is I have the, the block beneath the master cylinder. The opening is pointed back toward the firewall. The, the left and right sides come in like this to the, to, to the distribution block here in the center. And then it's going to go like that. So. so you see I have here, this is the, the 3 16 triple block here. 3 16 on all three ports. This is the passenger side coming in. This here is the driver side coming in here. This one here will be the feed from the master cylinder uh, down into this distribution block. Uh, right now it's not lining up exactly as I had hoped. It's close, uh, but since it's the nickel copper, I'll be able to bend it in place. I'm gonna top off this master cylinder. I, I don't want it to go empty. And, I, and some has been leaking out as I've attached the brake lines. I'll do it. Gotta reinstall the lid for the master cylinder. It's very tight. So I've got the brake line in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it in. Still leaking quite a bit of fluid, so I gotta make sure that I get everything tight here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and tighten the bottom one now. It's leaking, so I know that it's got a little, quite a ways to go. <sighs> so here we are gonna start the band for the front port. Uh, and of course, this is for the rear brakes. Here we go, put the first 90 in here. So that's what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the front one, pulling the plastic plug out of the fitting, out of the reducer fitting.